Despite towers reaching new heights in Manhattan and even Brooklyn, there's still something lacking in New York's skyline. The Megatol. Cities in the Middle East and China are competing to build higher and higher. Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower is expected to reach 3,281 feet upon completion, while the Burj Khalifa and Wuhan Greenland Center in China reach well over 2,000 feet. One World Trade Center stands at a towering 1,792 feet. But to beat megatall status, a structure must exceed 1,968 feet. Why can't New York rise to the occasion? New York City is the most expensive place to build in the entire world, costing an average of $362 per square foot. In parts of the Middle East, the cost to build is less than half that. In the United Arab Emirates, which is home to the Burj Khalifa, it's $135 per square foot. New York City's zoning laws can be much stricter and more fluid than those in other countries. The city's zoning regulations are constantly being revised and adjusted. Opposition from local residents often limits the max height allowed for new buildings. So getting a new project off the ground can take years and sometimes decades. While breathtaking views from the top floors of a megatall are surely unmatched by shorter buildings, vertical living isn't appealing to everyone. Residents and even office tenants can be turned off by the idea of spending their days at higher altitudes. Megatalls are a symbol of status, more than an opportunity for financial gain. Even Jeddah Tower isn't expected to generate money, though it could become a catalyst for future development. New York builders also seem wary to surpass the roof height of the symbolic One World Trade. In 2015, it was reported that Extel Development's Central Park Tower would eclipse the office building by one foot. Although that report turned out to be false, it showed the frenzy that could happen if developers dared to dethrone New York's tallest building. 